Now, the murky world of spyware is big business, and if you're a security researcher with a dubious set of ethics, you can make a small fortune if you just come up with an exploit to access a good old smartphone. This is the ultimate cat and mouse game between attackers and smartphone makers. Well, Apple, despite the appearance of liquid glass, is no dummy. They know they're one of the biggest spyware targets out there. Earlier this year with the iPhone 17 launch, they debuted a new memory integrity enforcement system. This is meant to make memory safety vulnerabilities that spyware depends on even harder to find and develop. Now Apple is trying to attack spyware from another angle, some cold, hard cash. Apple has had a bug bounty program for nearly a decade, but at the Hexacon Security Conference last week, it announced it's doubling the maximum payouts it will offer up to $2 million. That top payout is specifically for chains of exploits that can be used by spyware vendors, so this is definitely top of mind for them. Apple also introduced a bonus structure with rewards for figuring out how to bypass security features like lockdown mode, as well as for bugs in beta software for the first time, and expanding into new categories for things like WebKit and wireless radio attacks. The ironic thing, though, is that Apple's own hardware protections for spyware, like memory integrity enforcement, make the fewer viable spyware vulnerabilities all the more vulnerable. People still want to do the whole spyware thing, giving more incentive to those trying to find them. So good luck keeping pace, Apple.